土拨鼠预测气候系一个传统，有一种毛毛虫叫做毛毛熊，佢身上有橙啡色同黑色嘅毛，互相间隔住，两种颜色嘅长短比例，据讲可以总结夏季，并且推测冬季嘅气候。潘妙常报道。朝下不出门，晚下行千里。空中如论天，不雨也疯癫。小鼠热得透，大鼠凉针针。以前嘅人唔可以随时得知气象局发出嘅资讯，所以佢哋就靠记住天气谚语嚟预测天气。各个民族都流传住类似嘅天气预测方法。喺北美洲，除咗土拨鼠预报春天来临日子之外，有一种毛毛虫都担起预测天气嘅重任。The woolly bear caterpillar is famous for supposedly being able to predict the、uh, severity of the upcoming winter. This is、um, just a kind of a fun old wives' tale that's been、uh, common for a long, long time.、Um, it's not technically true, but it is. It was always、um, kind of supposed that the width or the length of that. Reddish orange band on the woolly bear would predict the severity. So the more narrow that band, the colder and the harsher the winter would be,、um, or the wider the band, the more、uh, pleasant and milder the winter would be. Woolly bear, 毛毛熊系其中一种登鹅嘅幼虫，成条毛茸茸，头尾黑色，中间橙啡色。据讲，如果中间橙色部分长啲，嚟紧嘅冬天。会系温和而短暂。如果黑色比例占多嘅话，冬天将会又长又寒冷。Some of the numbers put to it, it's it's less than 50% of the time, so it's not totally accurate.、Um, to be more scientifically accurate, it it's more、uh, revealing of the past summer than the upcoming winter, because if there's lots of food for the caterpillars and they're growing really well, having a great season, then they grow faster and bigger, and then that would make The orange band becomes smaller, so if anything, it kind of shows you about the past conditions instead of the future ones. 与其说橙色间嘅长度系预测冬天，不如话系反映过往夏天状况更有科学根据。毛毛熊若果喺夏天食得多，由于头尾生长得快，产假一般都会比较短。虽然毛毛熊预测冬天天气嘅讲法已经无从稽考，但庆祝毛毛熊节。就可以追溯到一九七三年，美国俄亥俄州有个家庭举办咗个庆祝活动，吸引唔少人参加。之后陆续有北美城市庆祝毛毛熊节，位于安省剑桥市嘅蝴蝶馆，亦于五年前将十月定为毛毛熊月，让大众进一步认识佢哋。毛毛熊系伊莎贝拉老虎鹅嘅幼虫。同其他飞蛾、蝴蝶一样，系完全变态动物，需要经过结茧、变蛹，再发育为成虫。而喺加拿大嘅毛毛熊都需要过冬，要抵受结冰温度，佢哋有独特嘅御寒技能。We often think about insects in the summer, but we don't think about what they're doing in the winter. And we know that some migrate, like the monarch butterfly, is really、um, popular for its long-distance migration. But that's more the exception than the rule. Most of our native insects are hunkered down outside all winter、um, and have adapted, yeah, a variety of ways to deal with the, the freezing temperatures, which is pretty impressive, I think. A really cool、uh, thing called supercooling, where they can handle the freezing temperatures, and then even on a mild day, if it's It's like a day in March, and the temperatures go above zero. They can just wake up and start walking around again. So it's not uncommon to see them moving around even throughout winter if it gets warm. 只要温度高于零度，就有机会见到呢啲毛毛虫活动。若果想拎上手，就要小心佢哋身上嘅刺毛，唔小心刉咗入皮肤，就可能会引发过敏。等佢哋慢慢爬上手，会比较安全。好多昆虫嘅幼虫同成虫一样有六只脚。蝴蝶馆就展出一盘暗黑甲虫嘅幼虫，超级麦皮虫，等游人可以亲自数下佢哋有几多只脚。<笑>而毛虫体落有好多只脚，但原来真正嘅脚只得六只，其余嘅系假脚，叫做腹脚。呢啲腹脚有助佢哋于树叶、树枝上移动。虽然飞蛾同蝴蝶嘅幼虫统称为毛虫
，但唔系所有毛虫都有毛，有啲光滑冇毛，有啲就成身毛层层，而毛层层嘅就一定系飞蛾嘅幼虫啦。全世界有大概十六万种飞蛾，一万八千种蝴蝶。虽然飞蛾物种数目远多于蝴蝶，但相比起蝴蝶，研究飞蛾嘅人唔多，但都有有趣嘅发现。就係呢啲虎鵝或者燈鵝可以避開蝙蝠嘅追捕。The Isabella tiger moth is an adult moth. It belongs to a, a small group of moths called the tigers, and they have this really neat ability to sense the bat echolocation. So perhaps you're familiar that bats hunt at night; they give out that kind of sonar.、Um, but tiger moths have evolved to actually be able to detect that, so they can avoid the bat predation. And some tiger moths have even evolved to be able to like click,、uh, make a clicking noise back that is thought to jam the bat sonar. 毛毛虫系本地原生物种。并不拣饮杂食，会进食不同种类嘅树叶，数量并不受威胁。下次见到佢哋，不妨留意橙色间条长短，睇下对嚟紧嘅冬天预测得准唔准。今日节目时间到啦，下星期再见。